Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this card wrap. Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is print off our patterns and then we're going to reinforce them with some cards. So I'm just using a bit of an old cereal box here. So as with all our pattern packs, you will get an instructional guide as well as information about what leather to use. So what you're going to do once you have your patterns cut out is transfer them on to your leather. So I'm using some door weights here just to hold that pattern in place whilst I draw around it with my scratch rule. And once we have our pattern transferred onto our leather, we can then cut this out. So this sort of curved line of the pattern is the hardest to cut out. So just take your time here and do this nice and slowly and accurately. And then once you've cut out your card holder, what we need to do is just mark on where that inside line is onto our case. And we are gonna edge up from there. So we're going to use our number one edge tool and we're going to edge the rest of our card wrap. Now we also have a flesh guide on our pattern pack. And we're just going to mark where we can finish our edging and we're just going to edge along that top line and then down to the bottom of the curved area. And now once you've done your edging you can then stain and polish the edges of your card wrap. And now once you've done staining and polishing the edges of your wrap, you can then use your crease and draw a crease line along those edged areas. Mm -hmm. 
and now we should have a card wrap that looks a little bit like this and what we're going to do is now draw onto the flesh side the stitch groove marks so what we're going to do is transfer the lines on our pattern by pushing a all all the way through on the top and bottom of those lines And then we can flip over our pattern and pop this onto the flesh side of our card wrap and just transfer the marks over. And once you've got your marks transferred over, you can then use a set square and just draw a line between them just to get something to follow. And now this is the stitch groove that I have. I got this from Tandy. Um, if you need to get one, they are very good. And we're just going to groove along that line. So we don't need to take too much off. And what this is enabling us to do is just to get that sort of edge to fold in nicely when we come to glue it together. And then using your bone folder, you can just run that up and down that line and that will just help turning that side over. It doesn't matter what side you do first because we're going to have to turn both the inside section and the front section in on themselves. And just work your thumb up and down that turn edge just to help it fold over. And we're now ready to start gluing. So what we're going to do is put some glue on both the inside panel and the back panel. And we just need to glue just along the bottom section. So I am using contact adhesive and we just need to wait a little bit for that to go off before we can glue our bits together. And then we're going to fold in that inside section into the center and get that nice and glued down and then we can use a hammer and again just tap along the edges just to get that folded in nicely so we just need to scruff up the grain side just a little bit of this central section now so that the glue has something sort of more substantial to stick to And then we can glue along the bottom of both the middle section and our front. We also need to put a little bit of glue up towards that curved corner. And once again, we just need to let this go off a bit before sticking down. And now fold your front section over so the bottom edges are all nicely aligned. And then once again, you can use a hammer just to tap those edges flat. So I'm using a trolley token here. Uh, it's just a round object that I have in the workshop and we're just gonna draw on two rounded corners onto the bottom of our card wrap. And once you have them drawn on, you can then cut them with your head knife.
and then we're going to number one edge around the corners and so once you've done that you can then nip over and just restain and recrease those corner edges as well And now once you've done that we can then get our pattern back and we're going to mark on where our stitching needs to be via the two red dots that are on the front section of our pattern. And then using our dividers set to about one eighth of an inch or four to five millimetres wide we can then draw a line between those two dots. And then we can stitch mark. So I am using 3.38 stitching irons. I'm just going to stitch mark along that line. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this and now what we're going to do is double hand or saddle stitch along that line. We want to start with a back stitch. And then once we've done our back stitch we can continue stitching the rest of our card wrap as normal. And then once you get to the end, you want to do one and a half back stitches so both your threads are on the back side of your card wrap. And then you can use some little nippers and cut them off flush to the card wrap. Now you should have something that looks a little bit like this and what we're going to do is just use some sandpaper and sand along the cut edges along the bottom and around those two bottom corners and this is just going to get all our edges nice and level and will make for staining and polishing to be a bit easier to get a nice finish on them. And so once you're done with your sanding you can then use some more stain and we're going to restain and polish that bottom edge.
And then once you're done staining and polishing, we are just gonna recrease all the edges of our card wrap. And so lastly, what we need to do is using our bone folder, just pop that inside and work it around the edges of the pockets just to get rid of any excess glue. And so that is the end of this video. Now I will actually be giving away this card wrap that I've made in the video. So if you want to be in a chance to win that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. So a winner will be picked at random from the comments in about two weeks time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.